Fifteen years ago, during the turbulent end to the Korean War, the placid skies over Williams Air Force Base, Arizona, were rent by the howl of jet engines. Four F-84 aircraft, painted red, white, and blue, rolled and looped over the audience below, always keeping their wingtips overlapped. This was the first show of the United States Air Force Air Demonstration Squadron, the Thunderbirds. Based at Luke Air Force Base near Phoenix, Arizona, the Thunderbirds had been created a month before to demonstrate to the people in the United States and overseas the capabilities of the men and machines of the United States Air Force. Needless to say, the Thunderbirds were representing in 1953 a very different Air Force from today's. As a separate service, the United States Air Force was only six years old. The hottest jet fighter then in action was still not capable of breaking the sound barrier in level flight. The ranks of the 5,000 spectators who watched that first air show in 1953 have been swelled by almost 70 million aviation enthusiasts from all of the 50 states and 40 countries of the free world. The largest single Thunderbird audience gathered in Chicago, Illinois, when on July 5, 1959, jammed the waterfront of Lake Michigan. The Thunderbirds have performed in five different aircraft. They began in the straight wing F-84 and in 1955, switched to a swept-wing F-84. Both aircraft were built by Republic. The F-84s, however, were subsonic planes, and it was not until 1956 that the Thunderbirds could shatter the sound barrier with their new North American F-100s. With this new aircraft, the Thunderbirds moved to Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. Transitioning, of course, meant a lot of work. On June 30th, the team performed the first show in the new aircraft at Portsmouth Air Force Base, New Hampshire. The audience, 150,000 spectators. By the end of 1956, they had performed 48 shows in the new aircraft with a total audience since 1953 of over 10 million. The team retained the C-model Super Sabre until 1964. At that time, they transitioned to the Republic F-105 aircraft. This change further demonstrated the versatility and adaptability of the team to switch from one first-line jet fighter to another. The F-105 was only used part of the season. The team performed six shows in this aircraft and then returned to the F-100 for the last five months of 1964. In 11 deployments overseas, the Thunderbirds have demonstrated American friendship by meeting millions of people on a person-to-person -person basis. During the 1959 trip to the Far East, the team performed 31 shows during one 40-day period. After returning to the United States, they received the 1959 McKay Trophy, an annual award made for the most meritorious flight of the year. The team now flies an average of 100 air shows a year, making them the nation's busiest precision flying team. To reach the show sites located from coast to coast and even overseas, the Thunderbirds must cover 175,000 air miles in 250 days of travel. And now the F-4, incredibly swift, reliable, and particularly suited to this new role. For the first time in 13 years, the Thunderbirds are transitioning to a new aircraft, the Mach 2 McDonnell Douglas Phantom. On the 19th of April of this year, after months of hard work and preparation, the team took delivery of two aircraft, number one and three, ahead of schedule. Aircraft numbers two and four were delivered just six days later, again ahead of schedule. We at McDonnell are particularly proud of this aircraft, and we're particularly honored that it's been chosen for use by the Thunderbirds. The performance and versatility of the F-4 with its two-engine reliability will add a new dimension to performances by the team. This aircraft has broken 15 speed, altitude, and time to climb world records. In fulfilling its mission, the team will once again be providing the public with a first-hand look at the capabilities of a modern first-line jet fighter aircraft. And we're the first show just a little over a month away. We're awaiting this first public appearance with expectation. For when five F-4s in this red, white, and blue paint job appear above a crowd, 10 jet engines will roar. We know the team performing maneuvers in this aircraft 
will perpetuate the fine tradition established by earlier generations of Thunderbirds.